As a social and investing experiment, Mike Roberts put 50000 of his own money into the stock market, but he's letting strangers vote on what stocks to buy and sell. You are a, uh, a computer engineer as your real job, from what I understand, so you're not insane, are you? In the past, there have been stock market games, there have been multiplayer stock market games, but nobody has ever made a multiplayer stock market game that uses real money. Basically, I came up with this idea based on two projects that inspired me a lot. One was Twitch Plays Pokemon, um, and another one was Twitch Installs Arch Linux. And it sort of just clicked one day. You know, what about Twitch Plays the Stock Market? You know, nobody has ever done something like that before. And I just sort of spent six months just refining this, this game, basically, that lets anybody just sign up for Twitch and just start controlling my investments. It was an interesting concept, and we actually, we always like when members of our community do something that nobody else has done. And that's sort of like the joy of being part of this company is that we're constantly being amazed by what our community comes up with. So what is StockStream? Um, I like to call it the world's first multiplayer stock market game using real money. It's sort of a voting game. Everybody sort of works together to decide what to spend the money on. So if you go there, you'll see people chatting about different sectors and different stocks. You know, everybody can vote. You know, and you just vote what you want to buy or sell. And then there's basically rounds. Each round, it will count down to the end. And then it will take all the votes and it will calculate which one got the most votes and it will just execute that trade, you know, in my portfolio. And I, you know, I had no idea what people would vote for. I had no idea what the reaction would be. And I was pretty surprised uh, that this community sprung up. You know, it was great seeing that media really rallied around it and said, wow, this is really innovative, this is really fun. And so on that level, you know, we thought it was a really cool idea. For the first couple weeks, uh, or maybe a month or so, we were really doing pretty well, I'd say. The market overall was going up and up and up. And then we just really had a losing streak. Uh, basically what happened is people liked to gamble on these earnings reports. Companies that are listed publicly, every quarter they will report their earnings to the shareholders and generally these analysts will sort of predict how well their business is going to do and base a stock price on that. So generally around the times of the earnings you'll see a pop. It'll either go up or will go down. And it's kind of fun to play earnings, but you can you can lose a lot. You know, sometimes they'll change by 10% or 20% or more uh, in just sort of one day. I just couldn't track what, whether people were playing in good faith or whether they were just, you know, trying to lose money. It was just chaos. Since the people playing, it's not their money, they've got nothing to lose. Uh, they like to play it, and we just kept gambling again and again and again, and we just lost thousands. I launched a brand new scoring system. It will take everybody who's voted, and when I place a trade, it will attach your username to this order ID. When it gets sold, it will say, okay, well, let's say you bought it at 150, and it's sold for 160, so your score is $10. Players are scored based on how well the portfolio is actually doing. So now it's sort of, you know, trying to incentivize players to actually play to win instead of just, you know, playing to lose or just, you know, gambling for fun, I guess. We surpassed 50,000, uh, but I'm pretty optimistic about it. <laughs> And I really didn't think uh, it would turn out the way it did. I sort of, you know, when I was launching it, I sort of had high hopes about, you know, maybe I'll make enough money in the stock market that I'll, I can quit my job and do this full time. Then I got this email from this guy, John Steinberg. He said something like, oh, let's, you know, we'll see if we can work out a licensing deal or something. I was like, okay, sure, yeah, whatever. Oh, here's my phone number. Yeah, and then he called me one day and he said, you got to quit your job and come work for me. Uh, and you know, when I heard that, like, I was just sort of a shock. I was like, wow, uh, you know, that sounds amazing. This is just a little game that I made on the side for fun. It was sort of a dream come true at the moment. And then, you know, he flew me out to New York City 
Uh, you know, I met the team here at Cheddar. You know, he basically made an offer and I accepted it. <laughs> we're now actually offering real money uh, to the players that perform well. Each week we're giving out a total of $225. Uh, and at the end of these competitions, we're also giving out uh, another, I think, uh, $3,500 with the grand prize of 2000 Well, I think the future and sort of the next step for streaming and video games is really designing with the viewing audience in mind. When game makers really start to think about integrating the viewing experience into the gaming experience, um, streaming is gonna really be taken to the next level. You know, since launching, I'm just, just racking my brain, you know, what's next? You know, what, what uh, I guess, industry or concept could be applied to this Twitch Plays thing? I don't know, Twitch uh, does air traffic control or something? <laughs>